Hi, I'm Sean Clark. Today I'm standing in front of the James W. Wadsworth Building, which was the Miskatonic University from Reanimator. Welcome to Horrors Hollow Grounds. Our first location takes us to Zurich, Switzerland, to the Zurich University Institute for Medicine, which in actuality is La Loya High School in beautiful Los Angeles, California. This building here, La Loya Hall, was used for the exterior of the institute. The interior was a completely different location we're going to go to now. So right now we're at the Kirchhoff Laboratory building at Caltech University. This was used for the interiors of the Zurich University. Let's go take a look. Unfortunately, I know it's gonna be closed because of COVID, everything's closed right now, but I think we can get a peek through the window. Oh yeah, it's legit. It's like we're just going into Switzerland. But what stops us? This giant COVID that stopped us right here, the COVID. Although if Dr. Herbert West was here, he would have solved this shit. We would have been done with COVID by now. But anyway, let's take a closer look. So as you can see, the hallway hasn't changed a great deal over the years. Pretty much looks the same. Now, I was trying to figure out if this room that they enter is actually off of this hallway, because Jeffrey Combs said he kind of recalled it being in this hallway, or at least the interior of this room being at this location somewhere. It's definitely not through the door they walk through here. Now, there's two things that give it away. One, when they walk through the door, you'll notice that the wall to the officer's right is white. And then when they cut to the interior, the wall is then yellow. Also, the door opens in a different direction. You can see that by the mechanism. That See that mechanism up there on the top there that, that holds the door open? It's suddenly missing as well. So, yellow and look up there. Oh, not there because the door opens the other direction in this room. Now, Jeffrey told me he really thinks that this room was somewhere at this location. You know, it's a big university, so it could be anywhere. But I have not been able to locate this exact room. Now we're heading to Miskatonic University, which is actually the James W. Wadsworth Building at 11301 Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. So as you can see here, this is the building they use for Miskatonic University. It's a VA building. This is a VA private property, so I probably shouldn't be here. I've had my troubles with the VA hospitals before. Yeah, that's it. Miskatonic U. The interiors of the hospital was an old hospital that had been closed down for some time called Pacoima Hospital, located at 11600 Eldridge Avenue in Silmar, California. This was also used for the interiors in Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Today, there are a bunch of condominiums in its place. Now notice the interior of this elevator looks green. And then suddenly it looks white. That's because when it gets down to the morgue level, we are on a set at Occidental Studios in beautiful Hollywood, California. Now this hallway, and of course the morgue, the autopsy room, and the actual freezer were all parts of a set. You can see in this one behind the scenes photo, the tops of the set, right there. Pretty cool. So right now I'm at Occidental Studios in Hollywood, California, right there. This was a studio, used to be called SNA Studios, and all the interiors for Reanimator were shot right here, right in those buildings. That's, that's where the magic happened. Fun fact, back in 1991, 92, I was an extra in the Alex Winter film, Freaked. 
and it was also shot here. So anyway, this is it right here, Occidental Studios. So right here in one of these stages were all the reanimator sets. Now mind you, not everything was shot on a set. I'll get to the ones that weren't when we see them, but look at that. Could that be part of a reanimator set right there? There's some fake walls sitting outside. That might be part of the set. Well, Dean Halsey's office was definitely part of the set. So this right here was inside that building. And also here, a little padded room in Dr. Hill's office, also a set. We now head to the exterior of the Halsey residence. Right now in front of the Halsey residence, which is right here, nothing was actually filmed inside this house. They just used it for the exterior and everything else was shot on the sound stage. But this is the house right here, downtown LA, near the corner of Irving and 4th Street in Los Angeles. Although we were able to find the exterior of the Halsey residence, it's the interior of this place that's really eluding me. I thought maybe it was a set, but I spoke with Jeffrey Combs, Bruce Abbott, and Barbara Crampton all separately about this location, and they all confirmed it was an actual residence somewhere, but none of them could remember exactly where it was. So odds of finding this one eh, aren't looking so good. Now, if you look in the background there, you can see the front door. It's a double door. The house they used for the exterior had a single door as the front door. So definitely a different place. Now this door is likely a fake because he comes smashing through it here in a second. And I'm not sure if the real front door would look like that or not. It might be completely different, but I'm assuming that would be the front of whatever that residence is. And four different scenes were shot here, so they probably were at this location for at least a day or two. And here's where Jeffrey comes to his rescue. Oh, look at that head. And now we go to 666 Darkmoor and the residence of one Dan Kane. Now we're at our final location. This is Dan Kane's house. They actually did use the interiors of this house, and uh, this has been one I've been looking for for a couple decades. Now I would have loved to have been able to get into this residence, but hey, during COVID, this is one of the things that makes my job very challenging, because nobody wants to let you in anywhere. Everything is closed, and especially people's personal residence. They're not going to let a stranger in during the biggest pandemic of all time. So, oh well, at least we got the outside of it. But the interior of this place was used. This is the real inside of that house. And you kind of get a little walkthrough right here as Jeffrey goes and checks it out for the first time to decide if he wants to rent the place or not. But the only part of this house that wasn't real was the basement. This is back on the set at Occidental Studios. Now, I know this isn't one of my longer episodes, but hey, it was a low-budget film. They didn't have very many locations, and we did all we could do. But I think finding this house was the payoff. By the way, it's located at the corner of Bronson Hill and Canyon Drive, just underneath the Hollywood sign. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We've made it through and got it finished. Or as Dr. Herbert West likes to say, done. Done.